Okay, as you've been using alias and hopefully going through the different sessions, whether that be the sub D or the getting started sessions, you've probably noticing uh, the importance and the convenience of having marking menus. Marking menus are those gesture based menus that we provide where if you hold down the shift, the control, holding left mouse button, middle mouse button, or right mouse button brings up different options. These are, again are all customizable so you can pretty much add anything you want into these. To do so you're going to go to preferences, menus, I'm sorry interface, and move down to marking menus. Keep in mind that if you select the option box it will only bring up the options for marking menus which is show option box or not. Um, so we'll exit that, go back to preferences, interface, marking menus and select marking menus. This will bring up the marking menu editor editor. So if we expand that down shift control left mouse button next to it you can see pick nothing pick CV pick object pick mesh and so on. If I wanted to add replace or move things I can certainly do that for example it may be easier to keep pick nothing where it's at, but where pick CV is, I find it easier to use pick object. To do so, we just right mouse our middle mouse button hold on the tool that we want and drag it to the location that we want. And that will swap those two tools. So now if I go back to that left mouse button, pick nothing is where we want it. Pick object is now at 3 o'clock or where the pick CV is, and pick CV is now at 6 o'clock where the pick object used to be. What if I wanted to add something altogether different? Um, I'm not quite sure if we move over to our pick options. Um, pick template. So I will middle mouse button hold, drag over to where the blend point is and release. And now it's substituted that tool for the pick template. So now if I shift control left mouse button hold, you can see pick templates in that place. If you're okay with these, we also give options to add additional tools at the bottom. So for example, we'll put the text tool here. We'll put the, I'm just randomly grabbing things now, so curve offset and maybe a surfaces and I don't know um, a planar surface. We'll drop that there for the toolbox. Now if I hold down the left or the shift control left mouse button you can see I have all those options here. If I want to start adjusting the middle Third, I simply right click up at the bar, choose middle, or choose right. From there the concept is the same. I can simply drag whatever I want over. So for example, if I wanted some diagnostic shaders in there, I can middle mouse button hold on a diagnostic shader move that over, maybe a wireframe is there, maybe clay. So you have a lot of flexibility. I would encourage you to play around with marking menus to really make those yours and to put what you like in there. And you can always modify, same concept as well. If there's something in here I don't want, middle mouse button hold and just drag to the garbage can.